we all know, uh, we need to advocate, I think, even loud, more loudly, uh, fascinating. Not always girls, just not always, you know, people um, locking six women in a room and torturing them. You're just a sick fuck, man. I'm mean, scary. Give me a break. We can all be gross. We can't all be, we all can't create true horror. I reckon you've been doing horror books for a while. I mean, why, why did you find yourself always continuing with the genre? I do horror because I like telling stories about, uh, about people. I like telling human interest stories, and that you won't read those. So I, uh, I put monsters in them, and uh, then you'll read them and love them. Um, when you're working in comics, um, everything is shorthand, and uh, you have to find a way to, to tell your love story, and to tell your adventure story, and to tell your story about the guy who's just waking up one day and goes out to do his job and, and really hates his life. Um, but you're not going to read that if I just tell you that. But if I say that he wakes up in the morning and goes out to do his job and he hates his job and one day he finds a big tentacle beastie who's about to eat him and he beats the living hell out of him, you're going to read that because that's horror. Um, horror is, much like science fiction, a way for us to be able to tell stories that we want to tell about the human condition and it's a way for you to read those stories. Um, I wrote... Uh, I wrote a few issues of uh, Hellstorm for Marvel many years ago, and um, um, I thought I was writing a horror comic for Marvel, and they said, there's no hell in the Marvel Universe. I said, okay. Um, there's no Satan in the Marvel Universe. I said, okay. But we want you to write this book that used to be called The Son of Satan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so I, I knew going in that I was really screwed. Uh, and so, for me, it's, it's, the idea is, is horror is, is so subjective. I mean, how many people here like vampire stories? Zombies. Slasher. Okay. There, there are so many genres, uh, subgenres of, of, of horror. You're, you're not all going to like the same kind of thing. Uh, some of you love jerk stuff. Some of you like Colin stuff. Some of you love Gary stuff. Some of you still don't know who I am. Uh, <laughs> but the idea is that horror in comics is so small and, and so subjective, and you've got to find that niche. You've got to get people to read your stuff, and find a way of making it effective, and, and trying to get an audience. Because horror comic enthusiasts and readers we are a very small group, and we should be loyal to each other, and love one another, and eat each other's brains. Aww. Um, and I forgot what Dan's question was. You got so far out of topic. That's right. I write horror because I love writing stories, and horror allows me to tell those stories, and get you to read them. And I like scaring the hell out of people. So what do you guys see in general for the future of the, the horror market? I mean, do, you, do you see it branching? Get deluded, you mean? Yes. I have my collected Marvel zombies. I love it. Superhero monsters. That's horrible. Yeah. Cracking Castle. Isn't that horror? Right. And the thing, you're, you're, you know, I mean, I think sometimes horror fans are our own worst enemies because we're almost apologetic about it. And like I said, with Nightmare World, it was like my dissertation to everyone. Look at all the stuff you can do in this great genre. And I'll tell people straight out, I don't like uh, gross stuff. But if something is scary or suspenseful and it's gross, well, then I can tolerate it a lot more. What bothers me more than anything, and you know, people call me a prude, is unnecessary sex scenes and then people getting massacred. Really? I guess that says about me that, that, that the extraneous, uh, gratuitous nudity bothers me more than someone getting their head ripped off, but it does. But uh, what we're seeing, uh, horror quietly, just being said, permeated into more and more things. I mean, there's a walking, sorry to say 
hear it. There's a Walking Dead TV show. Zombie World's being optioned. You know, all this, I mean, it's out there. But I think we always kind of, as fans, kind of stand in the corner and kick the dirt and like, oh yeah, by the way, I, I like horror stuff. Be loud. But then advocate for the good of horror. And I think that's what we're seeing happening. People are advocating for good stuff. And people are seeing what this medium is capable of. We all know. We all know. You know, and I and I just got to the point I started wearing my, my horror pride. I mean, most people only know the, the image of me with a top hat and sunglasses and a scarf on, you know, going like this. It was kind of like my gag, kind of like my, you know, ha ha to everyone. Like, yeah, I'm a horror writer. Here, now I look the part. But guess what? I don't sit around in a room all day. The world sucks. People are terrible. Well, he's going to advocate for it. We're seeing that happen, I think. I, I think as we continue to advocate, the market's going to continue to grow up. More and more, and more options and avenues will be opened up, and we'll all make the uh, and millions and millions of great products out there, and we'll all make the millions and millions we deserve for writing good fiction. Word. <laughs> well, no, I think uh, I think you already see see it permeate into the other you know, into the mainstream comics. I mean, you already have the Blackest Night from DC. Well, that's that's a horror. You know, that, that's a core basis for that book, for that crossover. Um, yeah, I think you're going to see it more and more with, uh, you know, it's just going to keep going and going. The thing that I think a lot of people miss when both in creating horror stories and in, in people who are reading them or what they think about horror stories is it has to be fun. I mean, it can tell, you can tell stories, you can, tell, you can just, you know, speak to the human condition, all the, but you can also have fun with these stories and you can actually enjoy reading it. And that's where, uh, I think more readers will come to a come to a book and be surprised by it. They can say, "Okay, there's scary parts of this, but getting scared is kind of fun, isn't it?" That's why you know that's why the haunted house industry does so well every every Halloween. That's why you know there's 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 some you know there's some joy in that. And the things I like in, in I like fun stories. So that's the kind of story I'm going to tell uh, if I if I can. And you know I like the bleak horror stories as well. But uh, I'm going to have the most fun telling the story that I think the readers are going to have fun writing, you know, reading. And, uh, and I think that will draw more people into the genre as a whole, too, in, in comics. They, they see something unexpected. They read Blackest Night and say, you know, it's kind of a zombie story. Maybe I'll like Dead World Zombies. And, they, and you know, they, it, it kind of opens the door. To be a, frankly, it can be that gateway drug when, you know, you have the mainstream stuff touching it. And then they say, well, maybe a zombie story is something I'll enjoy. Speaking of, the, speaking of the gateway drugs, I just have to put this little thing out there. So many people hate on Twilight, but make no mistake, that's a gateway drug for young girls and some guys to get into horror. Quit hating on it. They like it. Yes, the vampires sparkle. I get it. Fine. Let them enjoy horror. Don't start making them feel like bastards or like horror stuff. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Vote for me. <laughs> well, you know that's true. Everybody geeks out on something. Everybody. And it's ridiculous to make fun of what someone else geeks out on. I mean, I can't make fun of someone like, and, and I'm not just talking about within, you know, within you know, Twilight or within the horror genre or within comic books. So everybody. Some people geek out on sports, cars. Uh, you know, there's just all these things that everybody gets into. You know, model trains. I'm not going to make fun of those people. That's their bag. It's, it may not be mine, but I can't. Uh, I have plenty of things I geek out on. Far, far too many. Gary or Ash? I don't feel defensive about horror at all. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I, I've never really heard anybody criticize other people for liking horror or something. And the horror is sort of. I mean, I don't know if you can find it to the genre because, I mean, you know, look at uh, Alien, you know, that's a horror story, it's just set in space, you know. And to me, I see it as a horror story. Of course, the setting is in space, but it's a horror story. And so I, I think a lot of people have uh, acceptance of horror. I think when you get specific into zombies or, or vampires or werewolves, the subgenres of horrors, I think that's where most of the division comes from, um, you know, because, uh, and, and a lot of it comes from pure rational thought, you know, like, you can't have zombies. 